Part 12, The Specific Anarchist Organization, SAO. Political Education, Relations, and Resource Management. Finally, we will deal a bit with the other activities of the Specific Anarchist Organization. Political Education, Relations, and Resource Management. Political education is fundamental to the functioning of the anarchist organization at the political level of the specific anarchist organization. Education has its main objective to increase the knowledge and theoretical and ideological depths of the militants of the organization. It also gives support to new militants so that the differences in the level of education between the less and more educated should be as small as possible and so that the high level of discussion within the organization is not adversely affected by these differences. In general terms, political education promotes the theoretical and ideological development of the organization and ensures unity. For the supporter militants of the specific anarchist organization, political education provides the theoretical and ideological basis for its political line to be understood. The political education of the political level deepens historical, current, and future questions in the same way that knowledge about other ideological currents and social movements does. It is promoted in various ways, by courses and training books for militants, by education seminars, by the self-education that militants do by themselves, among others. At the social level of social movements, the anarchist organization also works with political education in the sense of promoting the development of theory and ideology. This education serves, in the first place, to mobilize people, then to educate grassroots militants and give the necessary support to groupings of tendency. Finally, political education seeks to develop the militants that act in the grouping of tendency and having ideological affinities integrate them into the anarchist organization. This political education at the social level is fundamental to politicizing militants. For the social movements to have the desired characteristics and for them to point to the construction of the popular organization, it is fundamental that the, fundamental that the militants are politicized as much as possible. And in this political education plays a significant role. Practically, this political education of the social level may also occur in various ways. With the deepening of historical, current, and future questions, and with knowledge of anarchism and of social movements, with social education books and courses, with lectures and debates among others. Political education has a great importance throughout the movement intended for militancy within the logic of concentric circles presented earlier, both at the political level and the social level. The relations of the specific anarchist organization are also fundamental and are divided in the same way into the social and political levels. At the political level, the anarchist organization seeks to relate to organizations, groups, and individuals from all locations, such that this can contribute to its practice. Relations may be more or less organic, more or less formal. Either way, it is important to have partners and to target larger confederate organizations that bring together different anarchist organizations. At the social level, it seeks to know and relate to social movements, leaking itself more or less to them, or even to have contact with other organisms such as universities, councils, foundations, NGOs, human rights, and ecological organizations. Political education has a great importance throughout the movement intended for militancy within the logic of concentric circles presented earlier, both at the political level and the social level. The relations of the specific anarchist organization are also fundamental and are divided in the same way into the social and political levels. At the political level, the anarchist organization seeks to relate to organizations, groups, and individuals from all locations such that this can contribute to its practice. Relations may be more or less organic, more or less formal. Either way, it is important to have partners and to target larger confederate organizations that bring together different anarchist organizations. 
At the social level, it seeks to know and relate to social movements, linking itself more or less to them, or even to have contact with other organisms such as universities, councils, foundations, NGOs, human rights, and ecological organizations. Resource management of the specific anarchist organization is done through self-support projects, which take place with the fundraising of the militants themselves, of other people, or even through initiatives such as cooperatives, and so on, and that are fundamental in order to sustain the anarchist organization and all its activities. Although being against the logic of capitalism, while we live within it and will have to raise and manage funds for the realization of our activities. These funds are important for the realization of social works, transport of militants, etc. For the purchase of books, for the printing of propaganda material, pamphlets, newspapers, books, videos, etc. For structures, for the organization, maintenance of spaces, etc. For travel and other activities.